let's go take a look at this weir. Now the Turumbri Weir is also known as Lock 26 and it's located 1,683 kilometres upstream from the ocean. Now one way to look at all the locks and the weirs in the river is to look at them like a series of huge stepping stones placed at different locations along the river, starting way down near the ocean and going all the way up to the Hume Dam at the base of the Kosciuszko National Park. Now the uses are so very important for the flow of the river but when there is no rain downstream, then water can be let go from weirs like this one here at Turumbri to help keep the water level sufficient at different parts of the river and to allow a constant and steady water flow to all areas. And then when there is plenty of water, then the water can be withheld so that it is not wasted and allowed to run out into the ocean. The problem is though, when there is no water anywhere and when the whole country is suffering from drought conditions, that is when the management of the river's water and the operation of weirs like this one here at Turumbri become very, very important. And one of the great things here at Lock 26 is the fish ladder that the weir has built into it. But what this allows the fish to do is find their way up through the weir so that they can breed and live at all locations along the river. For the fish swim up the ladder as they are attracted to the running water and then into the holding cage. From there the introduced species can be disposed of and the river's natural fish can then be counted and released to then continue on on their way. Now we've just pulled the trial craft up on the side of the river here. And I'm going to put the dinghy in and take you all in to see a place called Cow Swamp Inlet. And that was used by the Aboriginals over the last 20,000 years. So it's really worth taking a look at. So we'll put the inflatable in, put on the 15 horse and go for a spin. They're about five kilometres downstream from Machuca, and this area of river is very popular with the houseboat. Now if you have been on a houseboat, then you know how great they are and how much fun they can be had. But if you haven't, and you're not sure what they're like inside, then take a look at this.
we have just up here to my right the town of Echuca. And we're 1,713 kilometres from the river mouth, so we're starting to certainly get the mines up a bit now. Now, Echuca was shaped by the pastoralists, because back in the day, it was part of a huge station which was over 30,000 hectares in size, which had uh, sheep and cattle on it. Now, the name of Echuca comes from the Aboriginal word meaning, uh, meaning of waters, as it's located near the junctions of the Murray, the Goulburn and the Campsby rivers. Now, um, at one stage when it was at its busiest, the town had the biggest, uh, biggest port and the biggest um, jetty in the southern hemisphere. And you really have to see it to believe it in person. For the size that it is now, which is huge, it was actually five times that size when, when the town was in its full hustle and bustle. So it's certainly worth taking a look at this jetty. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, that way you'll get notified to all my new videos when I upload them. And if you want to contact me, you can do so through my website, the link's in the description below. See you next time.